Let me introduce you to one of the most fascinating and cunning spiders, the hunting spider. With an incredible ability to move swiftly, it glides through its surroundings with such agility that, in the blink of an eye, it almost got away from me. Now, let's prepare the future home for our hunting spider. This glass jar will be carefully decorated, creating a suitable habitat where it can feel comfortable and showcase its full potential. I started by adding a bit of sand and got to work. Unlike other spiders, these hunters actively move across vertical surfaces, using their agility and vision to stalk and capture prey with swift and precise attacks. They often live on vertical surfaces, such as rocks, trees, or walls, where they ambush their prey. Here we see the glass jar all set up, perfectly prepared to house our hunting spider. This habitat will give us a unique perspective to observe its behavior, something that would otherwise be difficult to capture. When I attached the macro lens to my camera, I realized I had created something truly impressive, a tiny miniature forest. I'm sure the spider will love it. Before placing the spider in the jar, I offered it a drop of water to ensure I wouldn't overload its habitat with too much moisture. In this footage, you can see the spider take the water right away and start drinking calmly. You don't see this every day. It's pretty rare to catch a spider drinking. As it enters the miniature forest, the spider pauses on one of the tiny branches, almost as if it's assessing its surroundings. This seemingly still behavior is actually a crucial strategy. Spiders need to analyze their terrain before acting, using their sensitive legs to pick up vibrations and textures. It's time to feed our tiny resident. While the spider remains motionless on the branch, like a living sculpture, I present its next meal. A mosquito that, I must admit, took quite some effort to catch. Up close, the mosquito reveals a surprisingly peculiar form with its delicate wings and slender body that looks almost alien. Yet, its entry into the terrarium did not go unnoticed. The spider, with its finely tuned senses, detected its presence the moment it was introduced. The two came face to face, and for a moment, I thought the spider would strike, but it let it go. I decided to leave it alone to hunt when hunger struck. The spider spent the night in peace, and I waited until the next day to see what would happen. The next day, I found the spider with a mosquito firmly clutched in its jaws. It only needed a moment of calm for its predatory instincts to awaken. I'm convinced this is a male spider. I can tell by its small legs, those structures near its mouth that give it a unique appearance and are specifically designed for a very particular purpose in males. However, hunting spiders don't usually stay in one place for long. They prefer to roam their surroundings while searching for prey. So, I decided to replace it with a web-weaving spider, more inclined to settle and build its home in the terrarium. I'm confident that this beautiful spider will adapt perfectly, finding everything it needs to thrive in this tiny world. This is a stead oda, a spider we've encountered before on the channel, showcasing its fascinating abilities. It's commonly known as the False Widow Spider, a name earned due to its striking resemblance in appearance and behavior to the infamous Black Widow. Once it settled into its new home, it was time to feed this lethal spider. Flies, although small, usually have incredible reflexes. Their compound eyes, made up of thousands of tiny facets, allow them to perceive the world in a completely different way, detecting even the slightest movement around them with remarkable precision. Both the fly and the spider have sensed each other's presence. Spiders, as expert hunters, have a particular attraction to flying insects. This interest is no accident as the soft buzzing produced by the flutter of their wings acts as a signal that awakens their predatory instinct, guiding them toward their prey. The moment the spider catches the fly, 
its first reaction is to inject its venom. This step, as vital as it is swift, is crucial in its feeding process, as the venom not only paralyzes the prey, but also starts breaking down its tissues, aiding in the subsequent digestion. Pay close attention to this incredible moment, where, after precisely injecting the fly, the spider carefully cleans its fangs. It's in this instant that we can see them clearly, a reminder that spiders are incredibly clean and meticulous creatures. The Stetoda prepares to eat as quickly as possible, knowing that in nature, you never know when other predators might be lurking, ready to snatch its food at any moment. Spiders like the Stetoda have learned to coexist with us in our homes, showing an amazing level of adaptation to their environment. Their venom, while lethal to insects, is completely harmless to humans, allowing them to play their role in the ecosystem without posing any threat to us. There are over 120 species of Stetoda, and while they tend to be solitary, some species may exhibit limited social behaviors, especially in environments where resources are abundant. However, most prefer to live independently, establishing their webs in quiet, secluded corners, away from others of their own kind. Check out this moment as the spider creates anchor points on the walls of the glass, making sure its food is securely held in place and preventing it from falling while it feeds. The behavior of spiders remains one of the most fascinating mysteries of nature. Despite advances in research, there are still many unknowns to solve about how and why they act the way they do. From their complex hunting strategies to the way they build their intricate webs, every movement seems to be full of purpose, but the true reason behind many of these actions remains a puzzle. Once it found the most comfortable position to feed, the spider remains still, waiting patiently. In its world, time has no rush. So, I decided to wait until the next day to observe it again. The next day, the spider had spun more web inside the jar, as if it had fully settled into the place. When I checked, I found the remains of the fly, discarded and lying on the floor. The fly, now completely empty, looked more like a shell than an insect. <laughs>